Hello, my name is James, and today, on behalf of GamingGuides.com, I'm going to talk to you about how to move units effectively in Fire Emblem Awakening. The most important thing to know about when it comes to considering movement is the danger zone. Simply tap X and the game will mark every square that an enemy will be able to attack in during the next turn. This instantly lets you make more educated moves around the map. The best way to use this information is to try and lure enemy units to your most defensively capable squad members. Move one into the first red square you can see and an enemy will likely try to attack you letting you launch a strong counterattack in the process. Think of every move as if you're setting a trap for your opponent. There is more to reading the danger zone, of course. If you hover over an enemy, the game will inform you how they can attack by showing you how many little red squares are at the edge of their movement. If it's one, it means they're a melee fighter. If it's two or more, it means they're a ranged fighter. Clicking the unit will also show their available paths of movement via the blue squares. This information is vital to success. If an enemy is going to attack in a ranged stance, then it would do you a disservice to pick a character with only a melee attack as their lure. What's more, reading this information will give you details on bottlenecks and help you foresee a particularly dangerous area of enemy that may be able to slink around your lures and defences. So always click an enemy to check their entire movement range before you decide that you know everything that's going to happen. The final thing to remember in terms of moving forwards is the importance of classes. If you see an enemy mage, for example, don't move a character with weak magical resistance as their lure. At the very least, give them backup from a mage to boost their resistance. The last thing you need to do is move a character that you've relied on for bottlenecks and such, such as Kellum, and then just have him blasted away by an eager dark mage. Make sure you check the defense and the resistance of the character you're moving and know which characters you should be using in which situations. The danger zone will also show enemy blind spots. This will let you move healers, dancers, and other fragile units intelligently. Remember, if you can't get a weak character to a safe spot, so that's an area not marked by red when you've got the danger zone up, then team them up with a defensively capable character. This way they'll be able to survive the turbulence and supply backup to the other character. So, in short, check the danger zone by pressing X. Check how nearby enemies can move and attack and then select and place your luring characters effectively and in accordance to the style of attack that will be incoming. Then, when you're in the thick of combat, use the danger zone to read where you should place more fragile units. Keeping the red web up is a vital tool for keeping units alive and for moving intelligently. For more tips on Fire Emblem Awakening, please check out the full guide on GamerGuides.com.